A few videos ago, I released my experience getting a DEXA scan. During the process of getting to go to Valley Healthspan with Dr. Olson and get my DEXA scan with my entire family, I was also running a little side project experiment. I chose three different BIA at home scales for body composition and compared them to the DEXA scan results. Let's dive in and see the findings. The three scales that were selected were RunStar, Withings Body Plus, and Renfo. I have a past video on my analysis of Renfo and Withings if you want to check that out, but this video compares them alongside RunStar and the DEXA. So let me go over the general findings of each of the scales, and I'll explain why I mean general in just a bit. Let's start off with RunStar, comparing the measurement of body fat percentage to the DEXA's body fat percentage. Little side note, for all of these comparisons, I'm not directly going to share all the details of every person. Instead, what I did was bland Altman plot and specifically using descriptive statistics. So looking at the bland Altman plot, we'll identify RunStar. It had a mean difference of minus seven, and that basically means that RunStar consistently was underestimating body fat when compared to the DEXA scan. Additionally, with limits of agreement ranging from minus 33 all the way to 16.7, indicated high variability and inconsistent agreement. Now what about Withings Body Plus for body fat percentage specifically? This one only had a mean difference of 0.875, meaning it had a very small positive bias to overestimate body fat percentage when compared to the DEXA. Its limits of agreement were, relatively speaking, more tight than the others, ranging from a negative 11.9 to a 13.66. Indicates better consistency, but that's relative to the other scales. Now what about Renfo? Comparing Renfo's measurement of body fat percentage to the DEXA scan, it had a mean difference of minus 0.825, indicating a small negative bias to underestimate body fat percentage when compared to DEXA. Its limits of agreement were moderate in comparison to the other scales, ranging from negative 16.7 to 1505. So now, again, what does all this mean? In ranking the generalized findings from this bland Altman plot, we can assume that Withings Body Plus was the most accurate with this group of individuals. Renfo came in at second place with moderate accuracy, and unfortunately, last was RunStar, which with this specific group of people showed up as the least accurate. And all of this I found very interesting considering RunStar has multiple electrodes that not only go through the feet, but also through the gripping positions of the hands, which in theory, I expected to see RunStar be much more accurate to the DEXA. However, I did only conduct my analysis on the body fat percentage component and with four people, which is not a big sample size at all. And realistically, nothing can be conclusive from that. So it begs the question, what would this look like with more people involved? And so that's where I extend out this opportunity to you because I don't like to leave things undone and I definitely don't want this to be inconclusive. If you click the link in the description below, you can participate or opt in to providing your data to continue this research study. And no, this is not a paid opportunity and I will not be sending free scales. This is just science for the sake of science. If you happen to have any of these scales, if not all three, which would be the best if you happen to have them, and you're ever interested in going and getting a DEXA scan, the premise of this study is to do exactly what I ended up doing. Bring the BI scales with you to the DEXA scan place and grab your reading at least within 30 minutes of getting your DEXA scan. Making sure obviously that you don't eat or drink anything in between trying to gather the metrics. And then send me the data. Clicking the link in the description will give you more information Information. Obviously, I'm going to anonymize all data and it just goes towards a pool of information that can be present in the next YouTube video. So that way we can have conclusive evidence on these BIA scales. It's just a fun way to contribute to science. So if you're interested in participating, click that link in the description. It's going to give you much more information. And I've included another link in the description to a DEXA scan search specifically a directory where you can find a DEXA scan location near you. Check that all out in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching my little side experiment.
I had a fun time doing it, and I hope you guys potentially want to contribute more data so that this can be more inclusive. If you found this video fun and engaging, please drop a like and drop a comment below with any topic suggestions or any questions you may have. Don't forget to share this video with your friends who may also want to contribute to this study. And always remember, your health is an investment, not an expense. I'll see you in the next one.